Okay, the lion hunting season starts December 1st and runs till April 14th. Um, you know, the, the hunt really depends on the weather and, and like I've said before, the, the weather can change so drastically. So, so we usually uh, get you to buy your license five, five days before the, the hunt starts and we watch weather, weather patterns and, and see what's coming in and if a good pattern of snow is coming in, then we give you a call and have you come out here. Okay, this is what we're looking for. We've got a cat track right here and it's very distinct compared to other tracks. Number one is it's, it's big, it's about the size of a, your hand, you can fit inside there. They don't usually drag their feet like a deer or an elk or anything else. It just, they stay on top of the snow and this is a good looking fresh track. Came off this mountain up here from the rocks, going up Another mountain right over there. We're gonna get back and we're gonna call the dogs. Well, it's definitely a mature female. I don't believe it's lactating. Uh, we need to find a good spot here so we can get a shot though. I don't like to shoot with uh, the shoulder back like that. So we'll have to find a better shot position. When the cat hits the ground, what we do is we reward our dogs by turning them loose and letting them chew on the mountain lion for a while. Don't anybody think this is easy? This isn't easy. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Armasite, the Titanium Vacuum Sealer, Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%, BSA Optics, Gamo Adult Precision Air Rifles, Texas Hidden Springs Ranch, and Grave Digger Broadheads. The High Road will be right back. Well, things are looking up. That right there is rewarding the dog. That's what they work for, that's what they live for. Don't anybody think this is easy? This isn't easy. All right, here's what it looks like, a Montana mountain lion. So Chris, as far as lions go, I mean, I've done several hunts, but I've never done one up here. How's this one rank? Well, as far as difficulty? <laughs> yeah, as far as difficulty, tell them, it's, tell them. It's, it's very difficult. <laughs> we have some hunts that are, you know, real simple and 
and this one was the hardest one we did. It was just some deep snow and a, one of the roughest canyons we have. So. Yeah, he always saves that rough stuff for me. Yeah, the <laughs> normal clients will be okay, but Keith, uh, gotta make it hard. <laughs> You know, when Coburn was here, the weather was perfect. It really was. And, and, and today, the wind kind of got up. The wind got up pretty bad. Tracks were blown in and made it very difficult for the dogs, but they kept working hard and they got it done. Okay, now tell everybody, when do you do your lion hunts and how would somebody go about uh, picking the right time to do it with you? Well, the, the lion season starts the uh, 1st of December and runs all the way to April 14th. So it just really depends on the, the weather, but uh, basically, you know, five days before the hunt, you have to purchase your tag, and and uh, we kind of look at the weather patterns and and say, okay, uh, I think there's a good pattern coming in, so let's get you over here. And see, the cool thing about it is Chris has got so much private ground. This is not public ground. Like, he's got there's some public ground around here to hunt, but why would you want to hunt public ground when you can hunt private ground? <laughs> he's not going to tell you that, but I'll tell you that. And but the favors have been around here how many generations? Oh, three, four. That. Long time. Leo's uh, 81 years old and he was born out here. So anyway, was born and raised right here. yeah, so he's a local boy. And uh, if y'all want more information, this right here, this uh, almost concludes my bear paw slam. Uh, there's one more animal that I really, really, really want, but I don't know if I'll ever get it because it's a draw situation and that would be a bighorn sheep. But if I do ever get a bighorn sheep tag, I guarantee this is the guy I'm going with. But folks, if y'all want information on coming up here on a lion hunt, or an antelope hunt, or a whitetail, or a mule deer, just about anything Montana has to offer. You need to give Chris Faber a call and give him your phone number. Phone number is 406-945-2050. And I'm gonna tell y'all something. If you've never eaten mountain lion, you really and truly don't know what you're missing because this guy right here, the next stop for him is gonna be in the freezer in Texas because I can promise you that's some good eating right there. Thank you, my friend. And you know what this is time for. <laughs> no, come here, come here. How are you going? <laughs> yes, you are. Come on. Come on down here. Come on down here. <laughs> Kiss that cat. Oh, oh. I love my cat. I love my cat. Hard earned. I love you. I wouldn't do this if I didn't love you. Anything about that? That was a pretty good day. Oh my gosh, it's a pretty cat. And you know what, I don't know if this is gonna be on my bucket list anymore. This kicked my butt, but it's worth it. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Reconyx, Record Rack Deer and Elk Feed, Burt Coyotes Luminoc, Shadow Hunter Blinds, Elevators, Diamond Down Thermal Gear, Ion Cameras, and Tannerite. The High Road will be right back. Tannerite brand binary exploding rifle targets presents viewer feedback. All right, this one is from a guy by the name of Russ, and he's from Texas. He says, hey, Keith, I'm a huge fan, and I watch every show. But last week, I missed your show and would like to know what I missed. Is there any way to watch it now? Russ, anybody can watch our show globally, 24-7. All you need to do is have a computer and go online to my YouTube page and every program, outtakes from the show, lots of tips, how-tos, a lot of behind the scenes, all that stuff is available 24-7, Russ. So don't fret, go online and check them out. Thanks for the email.
can see for yourself, there's a reason that they call this place Big Sky Country. The breathtaking colors, wide open spaces, and the sheer vastness of Montana is what keeps me coming back year after year. I know of nowhere else in North America where a big game hunter can go experience hunting for such a wide variety of big game species and they all live here. this trip, an old mule deer is what I'm hoping to find. The particular area we'll be hunting is called the Missouri River Breaks. One of the reasons that this area has such a wealth of big game animals is because this part of Montana is rugged and it consists primarily of private property. with private property, you obviously have property owners. These private landowners are the ultimate stewards of the land and wildlife. Private landowners are able to limit hunting pressure, and I'm glad they do. Limited hunting pressure allows all big game animals a better opportunity to live a longer life. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Walls Outdoor Goods, Liberty Safe, Oil Field Camo, Savage Arms, OpticsPlanet.com, Darton Archery, Vortex Range Finders, Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%, Castle Rock Outfitters, Gerber, and Wild Bucks Outdoors. Right now we hunt on over a quarter million acres of private land and we're still growing. The reason we are still growing is because I have a good relationship with the landowners and the landowners are seeing that the management and the way we manage here is really working well. And it's a great place to harvest a trophy mule deer buck. Look in here, what's left of the wheat. The whole tops out here on top of the brakes are full of ag fields. They're growing wheat, and this is some really good deer food. Deer, sheep food, elk food, they love it up here, and they hide down in that the deep brakes. There's a lot of tracks right down through here.
I think he fell. I think he fell. What do you think of that? Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that. I'm glad that bush saved him. You talk about, look at there. That's a nice old deer right here. Look at this, this juniper bush saved him from falling 150 feet there. Look at this, what a pretty animal. Oh man, he's pretty. He's pretty and he's not real far from the top. I mean, he could be a lot further, but look at him. What a pretty animal. I mean, nice. He's got a little brow tine right here. They're just such cool animals and to be able to live in such beautiful country. I mean, you know, a lot of people will wind up asking me what, what I prefer, white tail or mule deer. I just prefer mule deer. I I, I think the reason why is because I love the country that they live in. It's big and it's open and it's just beautiful. And every one of them is a new story. Look at this, this guy right here. If he wouldn't have stood up, I probably wouldn't have seen him. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. And thank you, old buck, thank you. And thank you, Juniper Bush, because without that, <laughs> yeah. we'd have really had to eat our Wheaties this morning. Oh my gosh. Coming to Big Sky Country is like coming back to a place that just feels good to me. If I was asked to say what it is that I like most about this part of Montana, that would be tough for me to say. What I can say though, is there's nothing about coming to hunt in this remote region of Montana that I don't like. This truly is a place I will hunt as long as I'm able to do so. because it's here in Big Sky Country where a hunter can experience the joy of the hunt. Ion Camera is the official sport camera used to film the high road.